Hey guys, it's Twintuitive 717. I am back with another reading, guys, hanging with my sidekick, sleepy mega good vibes. And we're on to do some messages from the Divine Masculine, okay? Universe, you know who is tuned in for these readings. Please help to bring clarity from the Masculine Collective for those listening. All right, let's cut the deck right in half. All right, so I dreamt about you. It hasn't been the same since, okay? So we have a Divine Masculine here that's starting to have a lot of intense dreams about you, okay? The fact that they're saying that it hasn't been the same since, it tells me that they're finding a lot of clarity through the dreams that they're having of you, Divine Feminine. You could be in separation, um, maybe or maybe not. If they are reaching out, I'm telling you guys, it's because they're starting to have these clarity um, or this type of clarity that's happening through the dream state. Okay, that's going to play a big role in your connection right now, or it's going to be helping the both of you. You could be, or you could have had dreams about this divine masculine as well. And it's like, since you've had those dreams, you've also been fixated on their energy. Um, but specifically what I'm hearing is like, they're also starting to share this experience with you of having, uh, having dreams. It could be in like different time periods as well, um, which is what's making them feel a little bit more pulled to you at this time okay um how are they feeling since they've had the last dreams that they've had about you oh we have two cards here so we have the flirt card so they could be wanting to reach out um the dreams as well could be very like romantic or, or flirtatious um they could see themselves making love to you or it could be a little bit more um you know erotic in the sense where they're having um like fantasies come through uh, in these dreams i'm also hearing because of the flirt card the reason that this masculine may be dreaming of you very sensually is because the last thing that they're doing at night before they drift off into sleep is like they're fan they're fantasizing about you they're thinking about you um another message that's coming through here is um they could self-pleasure uh, i'm specifically seeing a lot of masculines in the bathroom um they could self-pleasure before they go to bed or they could think about you before they go to bed just feeling very pleased feeling very satisfied and then that energy helps them to like drift off into sleep and i'm hearing like within those moments they do have a lot of profound intense dreams of you and then when they wake up your energy tends to stay with them and linger with them okay and it makes them want to like reach out or they could feel very flirty or very aroused throughout their day um we also have free yourself here coming up okay so taking back control of their life okay so the dreams as well could be prompting them to go on this different journey with you okay you could be very very different than what this masculine is used to um, and it could be triggering you could be trying to send them off on a different journey or you're making them feel uncomfortable in the maybe the relationship that they're in or the current dynamic that they're in they could be feeling like like i'm seeing someone like shaking their leg a lot they need to get out of something that they're in they need to get out of the city that they're in the place that they're in something about your presence and something about this intense connection to you connecting to you through dreams is making them feel more alive okay like they want to take some kind of specific action to create something new in their life some adventure in their life okay there's something about you that's making them feel really inspired as well we do have the queen of pentacles here coming through with the pregnant belly so it's like almost like they want to give birth to something new you're maybe making them feel um this energy of like just wanting to do something new it's it's feminine energy because they're feeling creative okay there's something about you divine feminine they don't know what it is but they like it they like the fact that it's like you're starting to show up in their dreams okay many of your masculines could be questioning themselves right now they could be asking themselves like okay maybe i'm just watching her social media too much that's why i'm dreaming of her um, or him depending on who the feminine is here in the connection take it how it resonates guys please don't get triggered um but that's just how it's coming out for me energy wise okay feminine her um, I feel like this is a masculine energy here who is saying like, I can't get over her. Like I just, no matter what I do now, she's showing up in my dreams. Maybe they try to delete themselves off of social media. They try to lay low. They try to keep you out of sight, out of mind, but now you're showing up in their dream state and it's like, damn, now they're going, jumping back on social media, having to, I'm hearing reactivate a lot of their <laughs> social media platforms because these dreams are making them feel 
connected to you drawn to you in some way now we also have this card again coming out from the previous reading that i did which is you know just a whole bunch of energies here holding back um this man i feel like this is a divine masculine who is constantly getting messages about freeing themselves taking back control not allowing so many people to have a say in the decisions that they're needing to make or wanting to make um, a lot of your masculines could be wanting to come towards you, but like, I feel like the people in their life are like shocked by some of the decisions here that they're wanting to make to move towards you. Again, it could be moving away, right? Like maybe they have a mother who's acting as a karmic here in their life, right? Family that doesn't want them to move away. They don't want them to venture off. Um, this could be a masculine who wants to move or take part in some kind of creative endeavor that's making them want to do things out of the ordinary um, and now they're starting to realize that part of this journey or part of your presence in their life is showing them how to be autonomous how to be free how to <laughs> break free from other people's opinions what other people want for them and i feel like it's making them feel even closer to you okay you're making this masculine want to do something new with themselves or their life like your energy is very inspiring um it's like not only do they feel in love with you but they feel inspired by you you may be their muse in some way um ever since you came into their life you've kind of like set a fire under their asses <laughs> is what i'm getting uh, and they just they want to do so much okay i have career and finances here at the bottom of the deck and that is clarified by retreat okay so but the word retreat alone lets me know that they just want to be alone like i feel like they want to be alone and if anyone is going to come into that bubble of them being alone it's going to be you okay divine feminine it could be they're fantasizing about you a lot they want to be on their own or they don't want to be near anybody right now um it could be that all they want to do is be alone and in their mind and in this fantasy world with the divine feminine okay because there's something about you your energy just feeling inspired by you that makes them want to either like change their career or birth something new because we did have that uh, queen of pentacles here coming out with the pregnant belly earlier um but it's like you make them want to break free from everything that they know and do something new and different and i feel like that is what tells them that they love you or that is what tells them that that, they're, that there's some kind of special connection to you because everyone may be pointing towards you as like you're weird um you have like weird spiritual beliefs but it's like if this person is so weird or bad for me then it's like how come they're the only ones who inspire me to do something different than what everybody else is doing who's around me right it's like i feel like your masculines want to do like big and bold things in life but somehow it's your energy that makes them feel inspired to do that right it's like everybody around them feels like they want the best for them but they tend to keep this masculine here very stuck and just like same old same old like doing what everybody else is doing like these people might have goals and dreams that they want this masculine to follow but it's just not big enough <laughs> for this divine masculine when they're around your energy divine feminine i feel like that's when they feel or they get into this whole empress birthing energy right like it's almost like they're piggybacking off of that empress energy from you right it makes them want to create it makes them want to stand out or do something different that's like big or like out in the public or in the public eye um, i feel like a lot of your masculines have the ability to do something greater have an impact on this world or, or do things at a grand scale um, but again they can't seem to get their footing off the ground unless they're like vibrating near you so don't be surprised if a lot of your masculines are wanting to come towards you like they want to live in the same area as you that could just be like a twin flame thing a frequency thing you two just happen to be the best at what you do in your own individual lives as long as you're like vibrating near one another if that makes sense okay um if a lot of if that message makes sense to a lot of you it could be why you're drawn to the number 717 or you're attracted to it or when you see it you kind of light up or feel familiar in some way um it's for those twin flames who it's like part of your purpose or being near each other um, has a lot to do with you guys getting creative projects off of the ground it's like that energetic frequency when you guys are together you're better okay when you're near each other you're just better it doesn't matter if you choose to go off and live your own individual lives i think that for this particular group of twin flames being near one another is really important for your frequency like the energy exchange between you two i feel like it really hurts you both to be at a distance from one another what i mean by that is like 
if either of you just wake up randomly one morning and you say to yourselves, I need to see this person, you want to be able to do that. Okay, this is specifically for your masculine as well. Oh, look at you. You're like a pretzel in this box. You're so cute. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like that's particularly for your masculines. Okay, they feel like they're the best at what they could do or they could be the best that they could be when they are near you. Okay, physically near you. Same city, same town. Like I said, they want to just be able to wake up, pick up the phone and be like, I need to see you in the physical. I need to touch you. I need to hold your hand. I need to hear your voice. Okay, um, let's go ahead and close off this message by finding out how your masculines are feeling in their heart space for you okay because as i was just saying i need to be near you i felt like this kind of romantic energy of i love you i love you i love you um what do your masculines want you to know divine feminine okay so give your relationship a chance give me a chance okay give me a chance to prove that i love you give me a chance to show you that i love you um i'm hearing give me a chance to show you that i'm serious depending on what it is i do only you'll know that i'm serious um yeah this is a masculine with a lot of intense focused intention right now towards you they want you to give this a chance i feel <laughs> um i feel like they're desperately doing things in the background to prove to you and to show you that they're showing up for you despite the obstacles that are appearing as like illusions or to create delusion um they want you to like read in between the lines like they are committed to you there is this there is this undying commitment to you like the word here partnership too kind of um stands out for me okay work on your partnership like this is a masculine that wants to be near you because there is something like about your souls like they can feel it that's in some kind of like partnership here um in this life experience or on like at this particular time whatever kind of connection you two have to one another like it's a partnership and they don't want you to lose sight of that because they like they get the memo i need to be near her i need to be near this divine feminine whatever i do i need to be near you and a lot of you are going to see your divine masculine starting to do that pick up themselves and <laughs> relocate to wherever it is you are and that has so much more to do and then just like oh i love you i want to be near you no like it is like no i need to be near you because i i thrive the most when our our energies are near one another okay that's really weird guys i don't know why it's coming out like that it's just it it sounds very like <laughs> twin flamey kind of energy there um this person just needs to be near you so that way they can vibrate at the highest frequency that they're able to vibrate at all right. I hope that makes sense. I love you guys. Take it easy and I will catch you in the next reading. Okay. Bye guys.